What is going on, guys? It is your boy, Mr. Kid Dragon, back here with episode 18 of The Gauntlet. I'm with my boy, Barney. You know what I'm saying? He's a top prospect for, uh, you know, the CCL. You know what I'm saying? Future competitor. You know what I'm saying? Future rookie of the year? Rookie of the year, potentially. I've been hearing so many good things about this kid. I had to get him on my show. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just so much scheduling involved with it. So, like, here we are now. You know what I'm saying? So, uh. Barney, go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, my first name's Taylor. I started competing back in IW. I'm 19 and will most likely be a future prospect for you and I. Hey, University of Northern Iowa, right? Yep. All right. Bet, bet, bet. All right, so uh, let's get right into it. How'd you start competing? How'd you get your gamer tag, Barney? You don't see a lot of people with, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> me and my IRL, which is a kid that I met playing zombies, just came up with the whole, like, it'd be cool if Barney was just running around like Black Ops 3, quickscoping people with a locust. <laughs> and then just branding just, like, stacked up after that. Yeah. Okay. And so, like, what COD did you, like, first compete in? My first, like, going full-time was probably World War II. I was on every day grinding the GB ladders. Finally found a duo that I was... On every day to play with. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I'm talking about, brother. Uh, and like, so GBs, are you, so were you like top, like, were you like playoff contention GBs? Oh, not in World like War II. Before? We were getting fucking worked. Straight For up real? walked. <laughs> Damn. Okay. No, I just, the whole duo aspect, like, World War II just helped me, like, Goku Vegeta mentality, that shit. Oh, I like, like that. I like that. He can't be above me, and I can't be above him. Because the moment oh. I feel him start catching up, yeah, I gotta go right back for it. Work harder than him. All right, I like that. So just to follow off that question, what's your biggest motivation to even like compete? Because you said like you were getting stomped on. You know what I'm saying? Most people, the mentality is like, oh, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm getting stomped on by these kids. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, what kept we you had a big from problem Jen in to world now. We had a big problem in World War II of just, like, we would beat really good teams, yeah. and then really bad teams would just fucking roll us. Yeah. So, like, the potential was always there. It was just getting that shit to full-time, like, go hard all the time. Not to try that. to make, like, a funny Twitter clip or something. <laughs> Alright, brother. Um, this is, like, a... Like a Kind of like a personal question, question, but what's something like a lot of people don't know about you? Um, originally I didn't like multiplayer. Black Ops Two was just a like a really rough title for me, so zombies was just my thing. Get yeah. on every day, do the zombies easter eggs with my IRLs. Hmm, I see, I see. Uh, so with the zombie eggs, you, you were like grinding that shit, right? Like two a.m. Yeah, type shit, right? Yeah, we'd be up at like three a.m. trying to do the buried easter egg on Black Ops Two. <laughs> Damn, bro. It was so, that was so long ago, bro. It's it's pretty nostalgic. Um, and uh, all right, brother. So speaking of you being a top prospect, speaking of you going like you and I, you know, what I'm saying potentially next season, this upcoming spring, right? Um, yep. 
you mentioned to me earlier that you wanted to quit competing mid-season for Modern Warfare specifically, but you're like, fuck it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get through it, you know what I'm saying? What kept you in that mentality? So, at the beginning of the season, like, me, I had a duo, we ran up the dubs ladder, we were like, fifth on the ladder, but eventually, like, nothing against him, but he has a problem of saying that the game is bad, and eventually, as you keep hearing that, you eventually yeah. are going to start believing that. Word. So, midway through the season, I was like, this game is ass. I'm just, I'm going to play zombies again. <laughs> uh, D. Cruel on Oklahoma State invited me to a TENS lobby. Yeah. And that's just where, like, it kind of re- reminded me why I started competing in the first place. Okay. All these people were talking, just talking, talking, talking. I had to come in and shut up the whole TENS lobby. Worski was one of those people. Oh. Ooh, we can save that. We can save that. That's another. That's for a question. That's another question. But, but yeah. Uh, okay. And so, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be here for the off season, right? You're like, you're not gonna like, oh, I'm gonna just take a break till the next game. You're gonna, you're gonna be grinding. Through nah, the it would. Yeah. Okay. It was just gonna be like, we can just vibe out. I can start streaming again. Hey, that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. But uh, all right. So, <clears throat> my most infamous question, round 11, Kai Champs. You know what I'm saying? Who am I picking to win it? Or? Yes, sir. Who are you picking, bro, out of your... Oh, out of, out of out everyone I've played with? with? Yes, sir. Who is the Iceman, brother? Iceman? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but probably Tyler on Oklahoma State. Ty- oh, Ninja? Yeah, Damn. that kid is fucking disgusting. Oh, okay. Like, okay. He, he's got a lot to learn, like, when it comes to being a teammate. But yeah. as an individual, his skill level, like, his ceiling is so fucking high. Hmm, I see. Damn, that's gas. Okay. And just to piggyback off that question, who would you consider, like, your duo and why? I know you've mentioned multiple duos, you know what I'm saying? Throughout the car, oh no! Right I now, mean... it's a hundred percent you and I, like Mellow on you and I. Okay. Okay. He just, like, he just like was embracing me coming into the lobby. Yeah. Everyone talking shit besides him. Dude, yeah, and that was good vibes. He listens. He's always wanting to learn. For a first year player, I see so much potential in him. Dude, I've noticed that too. To the, bro. Po- to the point where they were talking about like letting Tenor come back in and playing. And him be on the bench, I told him I wasn't coming if Jake wasn't on the starting roster. Damn. Okay. Okay. Gosh, your boy, man. Fuck. You gotta protect your homies out here, bro. I see you. I see you, brother. 100%. Yeah, but, yeah, I fuck with Melo, bro. He's, he's pretty good vibes, dude. Um, and then, so, I can ask a little bit different of more questions, see what I'm saying? Not potentially like personal questions, more like not like an aggressive question, but I'm a transition into aggressive questions. Yeah. So, just going off that, what role do you feel most comfortable with? Like playing? Yes, sir. Because you know there's well, like, there's IGL I'm, flex, there's like OBJ. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably the most aggressive player on the map. Yeah. Like, that's like one of my biggest flaws is knowing that I'm gonna play so fast that. A point nine is okay for me. I feel that. Especially if I'm able to, like Hayes said on, I forget which episode it was, but... 16. Just calming people down is something that I do so well. Like, just filling in for scrims for them. Yeah. Oklahoma State's biggest problem is when they start getting railed, their comms get frantic, and they just start yelling. Ooh, damn. Like, that's something that's so underrated in COD, is just being able to calm people down... Yeah. And get one push going. I feel that. Okay. Damn. So you would say you would, you would take an IGL slash aggressive... Entry. Yeah. Entry. So, okay. Damn, that's a pretty unique role. To be aggressive while playing IGL. Like, I feel like your your brain has to think really, really fucking quick for that. Yep. But I, but I like that. Okay. That's definitely, like... That potentially can be, like, a, like a role for a newcomer, up like... Of like you know like like a twenty twenty cod player you know what I'm saying yeah that's pretty unique okay um so are you looking forward 
to playing for you and I at this upcoming uh, CCL season, spring 2021? Yeah. Um, I can't wait to just, that team needed so much help slaying wise. Yeah. And yeah. splashing them like, and Jim, they're really good role players, but Dorno and Clay, you just can't expect Clay and Dorno to just do it all. Yeah, Like, I you feel just that. can't. And, uh, Clay what... needs to be able to run his routes, rotate early, and let other people fill in gaps where he can't be. And what do you feel like you're going to bring to that team? Just you know what I'm pressure and just slaying power, knowing where the kills are going to be. Yeah. A lot of people say I kill whore. Mm. But if you ask any like any of the UNI guys, it's not that I'm kill whoring. I just know where kills are going to be on the map. Yeah. Okay. I like that. So you like you what I'm, what I'm guessing people are saying, like, oh, you're just killing people off rotation all the time. But, I mean, that's yeah. a good thing, is it not? Like, yep. You're, Sitting you're corners. Yeah. Like, on the rotation gun runner from P2 to P3. Yeah. When I first started playing tens, none of them checked the corner, like, pipes plat. Yeah. Now all of them check that corner. I'm oh, getting I a three-piece. I see. You're playing, like, a sneaky beaver roll. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna get into the aggressive segment of the gauntlet. You know what I'm saying? This is where I ask you like not essentially tough questions, but essentially like like fire starting questions. You know yeah, let's stir the pot up a little bit. We All gotta right. get the tail popping. F facts, facts. I like it. All right, so. Who do you feel is your antagonist and why? Like, who's the kid that comes in the lobby and you're like, this fucking kid, man? <laughs> uh, originally, it was Kevin, like, Worski. Yeah. <laughs> but he, I feel like he just gets ever under everyone's skin. It's just what he's good at. Word. Um, and... he just come in, start talking shit about my voice, talking about I'm kill horrid. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds jealous, man. What's up? Feel like you can gun cover Worski in the only one straight up. Oh yeah, chance. Kevin's catching it. Like he's actually catching it. <laughs> like I might actually just have to jump out and do a 360 before I kill him. Damn, he's that easy. Okay, okay. All right. So going to my next question, give me top three overrated players and top three underrated players that you personally have played with. Overrated? I think Dorno's overrated. Yeah. 100. percent Ooh, explain. I don't know. Big matches, he, like, tends to choke. Damn. Like, playing you guys in CCL playoffs, like, they they lost one player. Clay's good, but he's not good enough to, like, warrant them just getting fucking smoked. Yeah. Dorno had to pick up. And it wasn't even Dorno that picked up, like, the slack. It was Jake Mello. Yeah, he did. Yeah, bro. He put us in a coffin on, uh, what's called it? Gunrunner Dom. Shit was annoying. Underrated? Jake's got to be on there. Yes, People sir. don't know how good he is because I take a lot of credit for him getting so much better after the season. Yeah. Hmm. Another overrated, I think. Hmm. I think a, some of the Concord players are actually overrated. Who would you say specifically, and for what reason? I don't know. I just saw the only match that I watched of playoffs was yeah. the Oklahoma State Concord match. People may just like based off of them, like me hearing about them. I was yeah. thinking, okay, Oklahoma State's gonna come in. It's gonna be a thrill. Like they're not even gonna hit forty-five points combined. They're getting fucking smoked. And yeah. then they sh they should have took a dom. They should like the Oklahoma. How close was the dom? If oh, it was really close, I don't know, but like it just came down to like that team doesn't have a set coach like telling them what to do. A couple more long routes, they take a dom off of Concord. Ooh, damn. Okay, okay. And so, would you say like Concord as a whole is underrated or overrated? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. Um. Damn, and then do you have any more like players 
like underrated. Underrated? Or, I think or, Joey's or, over or, underrated like a lot. Joey people Plasma. T- yeah, I think people underrate him a lot. Word. Like Hayes' statement about like there's better ARs in the league that play that role. Yeah. But Joey, his comms are clean when he calls out, actually. Yeah. He doesn't panic. You know where he's going to be on the map. He's set in a play style, and you can just put him wherever you want on the map. Hmm, okay. Damn. That's gas. I like that. I like that. Uh, fuck, dude. Let's... You have any more? Or... Overrated? Let's see. I don't know. I think the whole Oklahoma State team is overrated, too. Damn, wait. That what? team should not have made playoffs. Damn, wait. A .67 from Orion is not okay. Wait, whoa. Wait. You gotta go in depth of why the whole team is overrated. Like, it's a little bit. I get it that it was eight seed, eight seed to make playoffs. Yeah. But holy shit, a .67 is not okay. Like, that team... Should have at least been like ninth, tenth seed. Yeah. No chance they should have made playoffs. They got fucking lucky. What they finish in playoffs? Was it like top twenty four or something like that? Yeah, do a bry. Yeah, because one of the teams like. Oh, what playoffs. was it? They couldn't play or something. Yeah. Nah, they shouldn't even made it. Top twenty four is way too good for them. Overrated. Damn. Okay, so, uh, moving on, <laughs> damn, uh, name at least two, three players with an undeserved ego. Undeserved? At the time, probably Worski, but, yeah. like, I don't think his is an ego thing. Undeserved ego, <sighs> I think Tyler has a bit of an ego for... Like, just for his team being as bad as they were, individually he's good, but his ego isn't deserved. Yeah. Eighth seed isn't, doesn't condone an ego. I feel that. Uh, damn. Okay. Uh, damn, bro. Hmm. Who else? I don't know. Damn, bro, we went through these questions kind of fast. But, uh... Oh, Gucci. Uh, who is... What's called? it called? I don't know. Any players... Any more players you would like to call out? I'll just say that. Yeah, it's a good one. Like I said, Orion's lights on Oklahoma State. Don't like that fucking guy. He just started acting weird after the whole CCL Invitational Oklahoma State tourney. He's just being a fucking weirdo. He, we won that, and then he started. He just ghosted me and Joey. What the heck? Like, I'm pretty sure his teammates like don't even really hear from him anymore. He started taking away my perms in like Discord and stuff. I don't. Know, he just became a real fucking snake. Jeez. Okay. Um, More players. Let's see. Yeah, this is this is your floor, man. I'm gonna let you call out whoever. You know what I'm saying? And yep. Not even calling out, but like just more gas to like. Oklahoma State doesn't do as good as they did without cash. Cash is so. That's a good underrated right there. Cash, Cash right? is so underrated, it's crazy. If he'd learned to take his time, he would be their other 1.0 player. Oh, I see. So he play, you think he plays too fast? Like, he won't stop sprinting? He or... just doesn't, like, slow down, sit a corner, hit a long route. Get your two pieces where you can. Yeah. That team's biggest problem is discipline. No one sat there. And it's crazy, because when I was deciding to quit, yeah. I was going to go coach them. Oh, okay. I I told the cruel that like I'm not doing anything. I might as well just hop on and be a coach. I can probably help them go from like a tenth seed to like a sixth seed, just based off them doing the right stuff on the map. Headass. 
Okay. Which Oklahoma State? I was going to sit in there, coach them out. Like, because Tyler's not a good coach. Like, he's got to be able to do his own thing. Yeah. That okay. team flipped roles so many times. Like, they had Tyler running a flex. And that's another thing. Garrett, I hope you watch this. I really do. Uh, once again, I'm going to reiterate it. A point six seven, and you're their fucking AR. Yeah, damn, he's the AR. Oh, I thought you were like, I thought he was a sub player. When you he was, he's their quote unquote flex, but he'll get shit on with one gun, and then he'll switch to the other, which fucks their pacing up. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Once again, point six seven with an AR. You just can't do that. I feel that. I think Butler is really good if they had one more good player. Damn. That's Purge's team, right? Or... Uh, no. No, Plasma. Plasma and Vortex. Because, yeah, Vortex and Joey are really good. But once again, they can't do it all. Jack's got to be allowed to run around and just kill things. Okay. And Joey's got to be allowed to post up on his heading. They can't rotate, get spawns, and do all that. Purge is underrated. That's another good one. Yes, sir. Dude's really, nasty. He plays for like a really small school, too. He just needs some help on the roster, right? Yeah, he just needs help. I feel like a lot of the CCL teams, like, they have really good individual talent. Yeah. But a lot of them are really stuck because, like with Joey's team, I think they're another team that has a kid with a point six seven. Jesus. It's just not okay. We can't normalize a point six. We can't normalize a point six. I like it, dude. Like, the... Oklahoma State would just get way better if that point six was gone. They're pacing. Also, 15 kills. He averages 15 kills a map. Garrett does. That's really bad. That's pacing, like, pacing is such a big thing in COD. It's overlooked a lot. Yeah. Brother just being able to, just being able to, like, push with a teammate. Bro, just, like, being an OBJ, you need to at least average at least 20 kills a map, right? Oh, he, he's not even their OBJ. Like, he's got 106 in the hill, I think, is his average hill time. But then what? you have DeCruel with a .78 with the same time. That's just not okay. Jesus Christ. Get Drew out of the hill and let him go kill shit. Yo, hold on. I'm, t I'm literally tweeting your quote. Just. <laughs> I love that. Let's go. And I know, like, a bunch of people told me when I came on, like, Garrett's going to be mad. But, like, we've said this in streams multiple, multiple times. I don't give a fuck. I'm a grown-ass man. He can come to me and talk to me about it. He's an adult. I'm an adult. Fact. If he's got a problem with it, come to my DMs. Please come to my DMs. Okay. Damn. I love all the Oklahoma State guys, but holy shit, you can't just be weird after we win one tournament that was free. Yeah, that is weird. But I mean, it is what it is. I mean, he he doesn't seem like a like I don't know. He doesn't he doesn't come off as like weird. But I mean, then again, I haven't sat in like tens with them playing like multiple tens with them. We used to be really cool, him, Joey, me, and them. But after we won that, like he left the tens Snapchat. He ha he used to snap me every day. Yeah. He hasn't snapped me in like three weeks. Full on ghost mode. They were gonna host a BO4 tourney, but didn't host it because me we were trying to get the crew back together to run it back and go for the two time. Me, Worski, Purge, Joey, like we were actually talking about playing in it. Within yeah. like two minutes of the tweet being up, it had been taken down. What the hell? Because Joey caught it and he goes, oh, look, Oklahoma State's hosting the BO4 Invitational. Yeah. I went, maybe we should get the band back together. Went to look for it, gone. Which we Damn. never existed. Damn. Okay. So would you say there's players that still have growing up to do? Oh, of course. Like, yeah. even, even Jake. Jake remind, is only my duel because he reminds me of a little ass kid. Damn, what, he's what way, he's way past this Call of Duty shit. Like, that's something that the COD community overlooks so much. We put so much stock into being good at the game. Yeah. When one day you could really just wake up 
and have like nerve damage in your hands. Well, you're not playing COD no more. Or, so okay. you've just burned all these bridges instead of making friends and people that you can have a relationship with just to be good at a game. We yeah. overlook that shit so much. You could get... You could be in like a car accident and destroy your hands. Yeah. Once again, you're not playing COD no more, so what'd you gain from all that? Oh, I see, I see. I've always been a person that like prioritizes making friends yeah. Oh, over like placing high. I feel that. Okay. I like us as a community. There. We have to be way over this like Call of Duty shit, and actually be friends in a community. So just to ask, uh, what are, what are some of your hobbies outside of COD? Outside of COD, yes, um, sir. I played chess throughout like all of middle school and part of my high school. Anything just like board game, like chess, checkers, anything that like takes a brain to play. Ooh, is that what you say? Is that where you think your competitive edge, edginess from? Or competitive edge from? That's what I meant to say. My mom told me growing up as a kid, like, I used to always be just competitive. I see people playing basketball outside. I can do that way better than they can. <laughs> I like so I guess too. it's just like always been there. It's the mentality. I like it. You gotta have that mentality, because the moment you stop trying is the, like the moment people start catching up. Facts. 100%. Okay. Alright, brother. Uh, what time is it? Boom. Uh, now we're getting into closing statements. You know what I'm saying? So anything you'd like to say to anyone who's watching this video in the future? Like, any advice? Or, like, any... I guess you could throw some more shade, or however you want to go about it, brother. Yeah, like I said, Garrett, get your point six seven up, please. And just as a community, we just need to start like prioritizing playing with people that we really have fun with, instead yeah. of just winning all the time. Winning isn't everything. That's Value the relationships you make with people. All right, brother. I like that. I like that. And with that being said, we're going to conclude episode 18 of The Gauntlet. It has been your boy, Mystic the Dragon, and... Arnie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we are out. Peace.